interstate batteries. That's not where you want to be on practice day. But look at this. That is supposed to look like that. But that came out of there because it got too hot. Now I have had this taped there for the last day I went fishing. Look at that crap. Actually, about the last three days I went fishing, I've had it taped like that. This, we got to get this fixed or get a new one of these. $300 battery, and that came out. Mm. Get it fixed up. All right, what's going on, folks? It is the March the something. It's like two days before the Costa on Chickamauga, and I'm still third on the waiting list. At least I was as of this morning. Don't know if I'm going to get in. We're actually cutting it pretty close. But by the time y'all see this, y'all will know whether I got in or not. But anyways, we're out here practicing. Like I said, my fish have gone away, and I'm not catching them. So we're trying to figure something out. I'm in the back of a creek now, fishing a little bit of uh, some drains and stuff, but I cannot figure these fish out. It has been super tough on me, and I need to change that ASAP. Size of that smallie. That's always fun. That's a keeper smallmouth. Three pounder. At least three pounder. That is a good one. Second little bite I've had up in here. The other one was a little bigger than this, but I missed him. Water's so clear, I saw him actually. Little bitty one there. Well, today I think I've caught two keepers. That is not good. Don't know what I'm gonna do in the tournament. Still got two days to figure it out. I'm the king of bad practices, so we're having a real bad one today for sure. We're gonna catch them in the tournament though for sure. Just don't know exactly how. Main river fish are gone. Hard to find any in pockets. Just very, very tough to find them right now. I think the thing to do is going to be to go find an area. Running gun is not going to work as well as I thought it would. So we're going to have to try to find an area and settle in there for a while. So we're still going to run a few places. Maybe find something where I can catch me a limit early. Not looking too promising right now. Though. It looks going to be a daggum grind. Chunky one. Fat, man. Fat. But 
16 but like a two pounder he's a solid keeper it's a good thing to know if this water was a little stained i would probably come in here and spend the tournament but it's not stained enough i guarantee you there's enough fish in here to do really well in this tournament maybe not win but it's just so clear you ain't gonna be able to get them to bite so This place is full of these. I'm sure it is. So we may end up in here if we need a couple late in the day. When Getting some shorties now. I think I'll like four that are not 15 inches. Over a limb. Look how pretty they are up in here, though. And they're pretty. They got real pretty spots on them because the water's so clear. People are always like, that fish is white. He just pulled up. That water is muddy. That's why that fish is white. 99% of the time. So they get up there shallow. They turn completely white when the water is muddy. When it's clear, they get real pretty. place in here is full of these I mean tons of that size okay so most y'all can probably imagine I've been super focused on this tournament coming up so my videos for this are like a complete hodgepodge I've got nothing in order it's like a disaster trying to figure this out time frame everything I want to do everything in order I don't want to like mix it up too much so I did not make a ending at the right time for what I need to make an ending in this video so this is part one of practice this was like two days I have a real tough practice in it like every tournament so this is pretty much two days mixed into one and the next one it actually picks up a little so y'all hit that sub button come back and check out the next video I'll post it tomorrow I will see y'all next time Girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want.